Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. Today we are going to carry on with modern industrialization, We're going towards the electronic age, but first of all we are going to start with a large steam boiler. So at the end of the last episode we built the uh, electric steam furnace, but what it didn't do is put any hatches in, so there are different hatches we need in here. So let's have a look at the hatches. Now, there are two different types of hatches we've got that we access at the moment, and that's the steam item hatch and the steel item hatch, and there's a difference between the two. So if we have a look at this one, this is a steam item, the bronze item hatch, whatever I said last time, and that will take has one slot. The steel one has two slots. Uh, so therefore, you can do different recipes, but or save space, whichever the case may be. I'm not sure exactly what the difference between the fluid hatches are so the bronze fluid hatch takes four milli four buckets and the steel one takes eight buckets i'm not sure which is better uh whether well, i guess the steel's faster because the steel machines are faster anyway but it doesn't tell you anywhere so let's just assume that's the case so in here i have got some steel hatch a steel hatch there i actually got an input a bronze output hatch here and another bronze input hatch, hatch here so what can we do with this? We can make silicone. So in this chest here, I haven't got anything ready. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's just get the bits ready for sil silicon. Right, I've got some bits ready. Not very much as it happens, but I've got some more coke being made. So the recipe for silicon dust is, well, a tiny silicon, but forget about that. We can macerate stuff that we've actually already got, which is, well, we could do steel silicon plates from Tecraborn. Um, but in the electronic blast furnace, the Cooper Nickel tier, the three tiers of blast furnace, I think, no, the Canthal is another tier, Cooper Nickel, and this is the electric blast furnace. You need one of these two. So far, we've got just the Cooper Nickel ones, which is a lower level tier. Or we can make it in the, the electrolyzer. Well, we haven't actually built the electrolyzer yet, and that's sort of expensive in terms of emerald dust to make six silicons. We won't be doing that. And the packer will just pack up tiny. So that's not much use either. So the one we're going to be doing this is with this recipe to start with. So we need some coke dust and some quartz dust. This one here is silic is carbon dust, and we need a centrifuge for that. We won't be doing that this episode. We'll do that actually next episode. And that will make two for the price of... Well, actually, it's just saving one coke dust. It's not really exciting. But... This is the way we're going to make it. So let's get this started because it takes a reasonable amount of time, especially at the moment until we've actually made. Um, oops, wrong way. Until we've actually made the um, the large steam boiler, it's going to take a while because we need this turbine isn't actually getting enough steam. It should go down when these machines are running all all running together. This goes down. In fact, on here you can see the progress. It's not too it's not too bad at the moment. It's fairly good. So with that one, we can also get some coke dust out of here. Oh yes, of course the coke dust is going straight into the system. I've forgotten about that. So coke dust. Why do we have some? We got some more coke dust in this. We'll need we'll need these six. So let's put that into here to start with. Of course, it doesn't matter where I put it. I can put it in here or I can put it in here. So you'll see that that goes down one and this was had 33 and it's now got 31. So in here we should have a coke, a silicon dust. Right, we'll let that carry on while we make some, some the large steam boiler. There are other recipes here. In fact, I've got a lot of recipes to do today. So the large steam boiler is this recipe. And it's using these bronze bronze plated bricks they're fairly straightforward so i haven't bothered to actually show what those are but the recipe for those is fire clay bricks which we've already done and large bronze plates which we've already done um and then it needs two analog circuits which we've already done and a bronze boiler and bronze fluid pipes we've done all of these bits so that makes the large steam boiler in fact it does have a use Let's have a look at the use of a large steam boiler. We can then make the advanced st large steam boiler f using that. So in fact, I'll take this one, because we'll need that later on, I think. And then the next one along here is to make these bronze pipe machine casings. In fact, let's have a look, go back to the large steam boiler here, and have a look at the uses of the, the, uses of the large steam boiler. So we can have a look here, and we've got a multi-block. So the multi-block requires nine heat-proof machine casings, 
24 bronze plated bricks which we just had a look at and two bronze pipe machine casings and a large steam boiler actually i've got all of these bits prepared here as it happens so let's just take these like that and this was the recipe for the uh, bronze pipe machine casing it's one bronze machine casing and that's just bronze plates in a in a chest formation and these bronze item pipes i'm not going to make another one of those because we don't need that for the time being but let's go and assemble this thing as we saw it's a multi-block and what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace these two steam boilers here for this one and i'm going to put it here now as you can see i've got um, a chest out of a slime block already down here so let's put the large steam boiler down here like this i know it's a I know it goes up one like that so remove this and then we can have a look at this so as you can see underneath this we've got these nine heat uh, proof casings let's put those down first of all and I made a bit of space because I hadn't got run, I've run a bit short of space as it happens I really want to get my rid of my villages and I can all use that as space so let's go back here so the next level is well you can see in the middle here we have these two um pipe casings and the rest of it surrounding these is the main casings so let's just do that so let's get the 24 bronze plated plates here and put those down around the outs oops missed around the outside just break that one off Being patient, I must be, was a bit slow. Oh, yes, I've got now. I'm, I've got weakness, and in the middle of this one, we want to put the other casing. Let's do that the pipe casing, and also I've got a uh, which I haven't shown you yet another right staff of buildings. So what we can do is actually go up here, and then we could simply push look at this down like that, and we could place that and that around there like this. And of course it needs another one of these in this place bronze plated and then we just put the, the last nine on top of these like this and that is the the build but of course it needs hatches <laughs> it's going to need three hatches it's going to need one for one for steam one for water because we're going to have to put water in and one item one so let's break away these here like this it's not going to need much in terms of fuel so i'll put a small casing on the outside of this i think that we'll take the middle one here as steam and we'll use the steel casing for that in fact i'll take out these three like this didn't do this first time around actually i made this video already and unfortunately i have a slight problem and um, <clears throat> the sound was awful something went wrong so i'm recording it again anyway so we need a bronze fluid input hatch so i'm going to take that and i'm going to put that one here and i'm going to use that for water in fact you can see the only places this one can go if you get it's a bit difficult to see but when you're in your hand here it shows you where the positions that can go so it can go on the bottom row here like that so the next one i'm going to put along here is the steam is the steel one that's the input hatch oh there it is fluid input hatch which actually needs to be an output hatch so we'll just convert this to an output hatch first of all going like that and then we'll put in the we need the coke going in or coal or whatever so we need a bronze input item match we don't use that much so bronze is fine no point in using steel if you don't need to so those are the three hatches so now i'm going to go down here and prepare some pipes what i'm going to, i don't need these machines at the moment except well that's sort of not quite true i would like to get some more silicon so let's get the silicon out. let's get the quarter the coke out of here i should have some more coke now another 11. let's see if we got those seven have been done and we could put those into there i do need this for a bit but what I'd like to do is I'd just like to come down through here and I'll run the pipe work and I'll be back in a second. Right, I'm back again. So I'm just ready to connect these pipes in here. So on this particular one here is a bronze fluid input hatch. These, 
these faces with the square in are just the output faces because this is a little bit confusing so if i shift right click this the steam should come out of here you'll notice this one input doesn't matter so let's can go up there and connect these ones up um i should be able to right click this one like that and this one so that's going in as you can see and that should actually work so we we'll simply right click this and then it goes steam will go out and then here we just need to connect these in so i just right click this corner and that should go through here as you can see so in here if we look at this now we should see water fantastic so out will come some steam and we just need to bring that down through here i'm just checking out and get out of here when i've done all of this i'll have to just be a bit careful so let's just come down here and across i think that's probably about as far as i can go uh, maybe one more you do that you click it and it doesn't because you can't place it it doesn't do anything so that's fine so we'll connect that through like that and then i'll fill this in later on and we can get out of here now so all i need to do now is connect this into here so i can break these pipes because we we don't need this pipe anymore so with the wrench we can shift right click these away we do need this one but i can't reach the or oh, maybe i can yes i can like that so i can reach that and that's so that's now connecting in i can then remove this steam boiler like that and i can also remove this one uh as well because we don't need those two anymore and as you'll see that there's a few pipes which look a bit confusing so i can remove this pipe i think the, yes because that's not going anywhere so we can remove this one and that makes things look a little bit simpler what's going on down here I might need one of more piece of water for something or other. Maybe it's easier to drag it across because it's coming out of here, isn't it? And I'm going down here. That's fine. We'll leave that for the time being. Okay, so now we've got steam coming out of this. As you can see, steam has come out and we should be powering these machines up. So now we should be able to see this still working. The steam turbine should have some power water in it. Let's steam in it i mean so that's full that's good this is idle so let's go and put some um more coke in there i should have some more coke in it before i do that there is something i've forgotten about or i didn't know about actually so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to here we have a bronze input no a bronze item output hatch i'm going to put here another one and this time we're going to put a bronze fluid output hatch because one of the byproducts of um that's that one one uh, of the of the coke is to actually make creosote i didn't know that so i'm just in the process of building a large tank because it does produce quite a lot of creosote and creosote does have a usage i should have some tank so it's still in process oh i need some wire and some carbon tell you what we'll do we'll just take this steel empty tank for the time being that's got a bit of capacity and i put that down here and that should automatically connect into here so while it's making coke if it's still got coke to do it you know it's finished um let's get some more coke then because we'll probably need some more silicon anyway if not we can just use uh, centrifuge some no maybe not but we should be able to do it anyway let's have a look oh we haven't got any fuel in the large steam boiler now that was a bit this well, shouldn't work so let's put some fuel in here to start with let's put some charcoal in there what i can also do is put a chest so for example we can put a chest on here like this and then we can put in the chest the, the charcoal and then we can tell this to auto input auto insert as disabled let's just remove this and enable it and then you'll should see that it should come in if it doesn't come in then i probably oh yes you see it's got the face in here so we probably do need to shift this one so the auto input faces uh didn't work try again shift right click it there we go so now this should have some stuff in it nope have i got an output hatch in no that's a prompt input hatch let's put that into there oh it's not it's still not right let's just shift right oh i've got the wrong no that's the right wrench oh there we go so now that's correct I should have probably done that to start with and we've got charcoal in there so that will automatically be fed with charcoal as well as we will see 
that was a bit of a move. A bit of a boob, wasn't it? Anyway, so I wanted to get some more coke going, didn't I? So we went some coal dust. Here we've got loads of coal dust. Let's make another stack of coke because it's actually we're going to need lots of it as it happens. So let's just put that into here. In fact, I'm going to have to do a lot more than that one. So I'm going to take some more of coke coal dust out of here. Let's take out another. I'll tell you what, we'll take out what we can. So that's six stacks or thereabouts, I think. So we'll put those into here. One of the advantages of having a chest in front of the ME interface is you can do this. So this will start to produce some more coke and that will come automatically into the system. I've also changed this to make this split the, two, split the machine up. So this one only makes, and in fact, this isn't, I need to get rid of that because, oh yes, I can do that, can't I? This is only going to make, um, oh, actually that's rubbish. I want the, I want the, what have I got in here? Oh, I've actually got synthetic oil in here. So I do need to put some paper into this one. Uh, and this, because it won't go into here, there's plenty of paper in here. Let's put some paper in this one. Because it can make some, it can make some uh, rubber sheets while we're doing this, while it's using this up. And that will make quite a lot of rubber sheets. I think it'll make two stacks at least. Because we're going to need a lot of rubber sheets later on. So there we are. So now, that's the large steam boiler. That's, I think we've completed that bit. So now we're going to have to make a few more recipes for other components that we're going to need later on. Um, I'm just checking my inventory space. I think it's okay for the time being. If not, I'll have to go and sort it out. Let's put that down here. Normally I'll have to sort it out. So first thing of all, we've got diodes. Now there's two recipes for diodes. This one makes one diode. Um, recipe for diode. The other one is using the N-dope silicon plate. And the N-dope silicon plate, you make in the chemical reactor with a silicon plate plus a tiny um, antimony, antimony tiny dust. The other, the other recipe is for the silicon. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's do this one. Actually, that's the recipe for it. We'll do that today if I've still got time. Um, the usage of the, this one, we can make N-doped with antimony and aluminium plus silicon plate will make p-doped silicon plates which we will need later on and uh, then later these on um, higher level machines that we're not going to do for a, mm, an episode or two so we can make some res uh, diodes like that oh and then you'll get twice as many diodes for the rest of the components using the p-doped i think you saw that anyway and here's a transistor and the same thing with a transistor if we use the n and p-doped we'll get four transistors instead of having two which we've got here so that steel plates, silicon plates, and electron fine wire. I haven't actually made the silicon plates using modern industrialization, but it's very simple. We just come along here. And we see we've got 18 silicon. We need some of those for some of the recipes. Let's take those out of there and put them into a furnace. Um, doesn't matter which furnace I'm going to use. I'm going to use this furnace over here. I'll try again. We'll just put half of those into there to start with. And as you can see, that made silicon ingots really fast. And of course, I've put those into the compressor. Ha, huh. doesn't work in this compressor, good. So we have to use the uh, modern industrialization compressor. So we can do that anyway, which is, I think, that's the cutting machine compressor. We can put those into there. And that's going to make these silicon plates. They're identical to the Tech Reborn ones, as you can see, the, the mod pack guys have made sure that they have the same item coming through there so that's how we're making silicon plates should have shown you that before shouldn't i really and then the last one of these is the electronic circuit board and that's made with an analog circuit board which we made that last episode redstone batteries which is also done an electrum cable now collect it says here electrum cable is medium voltage that's also something that is confusing because some of these machines are a low voltage and some are medium voltage. Most of the machines we're doing so far are medium, a low voltage machines when we get to the electrical machines. So here we have the recipe for doing the analog circuits, which we need four of those. And if I do this like this, we'll then, if I do the recipe for this one, this is the electronic circuit. I should right click that. The bits we've just made will make a second electronic circuit. <laughs> it's quite a lot of material. So we've got two of these electronic circuits. So I'm going to go up here now, 
because I've prepared some more recipes. <laughs> what we're going to do here is we're going to have a look at the different bits that we can start to do with this. So this one is for pumps. And if I take away these two here, uh, actually let's do that the other way around like this. Let's have a look at the, the recipe for pumps. There's two recipes. We can make it and craft it like I've got here with these tin bolts. Or I can put it in the assembler and the assembler doesn't require the tin bolts. So you're saving not very much as it happens, about one piece of tin per pump. But it's, it's a saving. So we can make these th three pumps because we need the three pumps for the next machine. Well, in fact, this particular machine here, so the next one here is a large motor. So a large motor, we made a motors last time. We've just made the electronic circuit. Aluminium rods are obviously just an ingot of aluminium through the um, cutting machine and some more motors and that will make a large motor. With the large motor and the pumps we can make a large pump and plus of course this has got aluminium rotors which are fairly straightforward just the standard recipe for those basically we can put that in the assembler with four aluminium blades and one aluminium ring exactly the same as the other materials so I don't need to bother too much about that and then we can make with three of those two electronic circuits so you can see this is a fairly in, in expensive item we can make the large pump the next machine along here is what I'd like to make is an electric furnace because I've run out of recipes or space for recipes I'll show you what I mean I'll come back in a second and show be downstairs and show you what I'm talking about well the furnace is here but the access to it is here so let's have a look at the furnace so we've got this furnace here it's full and actually i would like to put into this some more recipes so instead of having another making another steel furnace i'm going to make an electric furnace the other machine that's also full is the wire cutter so let's have a look at the cutter and I need to make these I need to make rings and I haven't got any space for rings I've also got a, a recipe here for an invar gear which we're also going to use the recipe for that by the way is oops try again there's a large plate which is cut it's actually everything this they're quite neat really I suppose certainly everything's a sort of the same recipe so the large steel steel gears are large steel plates and the bronze gears are the same and this one's the same so for a large steel plate will produce one gear I think so let's go back up here so the recipe for the furnace is this one so it's fairly straightforward we've made the basic machine hole tin cable we've made before I actually have no space <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll come back in a second with a bit of space right got space now so we can finish this off so that's the electric furnace fairly straightforward next one along here is I would like to make is the is the wire machine the, the cutting machine so for that if you look at the uses of the invar rotor like this it has really two uses in terms of machines so the electric cutting machine which is two motors one of these basic machines conveyor we've made that before and the circuits we made before this one we haven't used before so now we can actually put this together so let's make one of these there that was just a diamond with that gear and then come along here and then we can put this into this machine here and that will make the electric cutting machine which is what we also want to do the next one machine along the route like here i'm going to make is the electrolyzer and the usage of the electrolyzer well you can see actually it's got a lot of uses oh three pages worth but it's very useful we've got charge circuit quartz we can also make uh, sodium dust i think this is actually fairly important tiny platinum dust uh, magnesium dust is one of these things that you can't make other other stuff so from water we can make hydrogen and oxygen and i think oxygen was had a use from it before if we have a look at the usage of that we can make these annealed copper hot ingots which we have to cool down anyway we'll come with that next and in, in the next episode so it's a useful machine to have and it's also a quest that's what just shows me up here. The next thing along here is to make the chemical reactor, another useful machine. Well, we saw what the uses for that was. That was to make the NNP dope stuff, so I'm going to make this. Anyway, and that's also another advancement. 
he wasn't a question. And then I'm going to carry on here, because the, the end goal for this, the next level up, is the advanced machine holes. So for an advanced machine hole, you need an advanced, a basic machine hole, which we've made previously. The recipe for that was these steel holes with analog circuits, silicon batteries, and tin cables. Well, you can guess what's going to happen next level. The next level is going to use the aluminium holes. No, the basic hole here, and aluminium plates is the next one up. And, and it's going to use batteries. So let's just press escape. So that's the advanced machine casing. And the uses of that is only one use, and that's to make the advanced machine hole. And then it needs these silicon batteries and electron cables. We've done the electron cables and we've done the electronic circuit, but the silicon batteries is where we seem need some more silicon. So I've got two prepared here like that, which is what we need for this one. And in fact, I've actually got everything prepared here too. So, so that's the what we need for this. So we can actually, actually, we could make another one of these. So let's just put the recipe for this and shift click it in. We should be able to make two. Oh no, can't make two, why not? thought I could do just click those into here oh probably because I haven't got any more electron cable <laughs> that's probably why let's just do that oh I could oh okay so I could make two of these so I've got two advanced machine holes the uses of those are for the next level of machines so you've got the turbo machine casing which comes next and if we can then make MV energy input hatches using this particular machine which we were going to need next time and we can also make advanced fluid advanced item i'm not sure what those are yet i should prepare some more of these for the next episodes i think diesel generator that's another important machine uh, an electrical electric quarry which we're going to do next time so those are the recipes that i've done for today so all i'm going to do is to put these machines down i'll do the We've seen how to do this, it's fairly straightforward, but just in case, let's just put down here. I've got some recipes prepared, I think. Yes, I've got the rings prepared in here. So when I make rings, it would go into this chest and then I'd have to manually put them in there. So let's just break this out of here and then put down the cutting machine. Electric cutting machine down here like this. And then I've got, it needs the output to be on the bottom face of this. Have I got any tin cable with me? I'm just hoping I've got some tin cable. Because I need to connect this in. I might have some tin cable in here. Let's have a look. Two, great. I only need one for this particular machine. The electric furnace will also put in, but I'll put that in here. I don't have any recipe prepared for that yet. So we'll just put this across like this. And I can't connect this into, from here. I've got to go down one block to do that. So let's do that. First of all, we'll remove this. I've got space in my inventory. Yes, I have. So I'm going to remove the M. Oh, I need the, the other wrench, don't I? Let's put this wrench. Sort my inventory out just to make sure. So I need to remove that because I, I need to shift right click the bottom of this so the output is on here or comes out automatically. So we also need to configure this so it, it automatically ejects items. It doesn't otherwise, it's not pulled from the ME, the ME interface doesn't pull stuff out. So we can then put the ME interface back again and this time I'm not going to bother making it like this one pushing it up because it doesn't need it anymore so we can then simply put on here the back the three recipes let's put them back in i've got a copper i've got a tin and i've got an aluminium in fact i think as it happens i need i need a bronze one so i need to make the next recipe for that so we can test that let's go and test it let's order an aluminium ring or any form of ring i've got one of those ready let's make another one Um, I've got a crafting recipe. Sorry, it's next. And start that. And with a bit of luck, we should be able to do that. So, look what's it doing at the moment? Oh, it's actually crafting those. So, they should be in here. But of course, it's got no power. <laughs> yeah, indeed, it's got the aluminium item pipe in there, which is one of which is what we need that to make. Let's just go down here one block. Like that. And then we can take the wrench here. 
and simply attach it on there like that. This, as you see, the, the turbine's working, so it's giving power to this machine. This should be processed. Does it need something else? Ah, it probably needs water. Uh, yes, it'll bound to need water. That's why I knew I needed another water pipe to come through here. So I'll tell you what, I'll drag those through yet yeah, now, and we'll have a look at that as I when I've done it. That wasn't too difficult as it happens. Let's just so let's just connect this in here now, like that. So this should start to work again, as we can see that the turbine is working, and I've seen it disappear out of here. So we should have in the system now. We should have some more. Yeah, we've got two aluminium rings. Fantastic. Well, that's really the end of the episode. But I've, we've got no fluid in here because I forgot to do something. Let's have a look. In here we have got the output hatch, and you can see we've got four buckets of creosote in here, but I didn't click the auto extract, which I should have done. And this, as you can see, the blue is the fluids. I was thinking blue was in input, but it's not, it's output. So we can put that here straight away and we get four buckets of creosote, uh, four and a half buckets. So it's going up. There's a 50% chance of getting creosote, by the way. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new. Anyway, until next time, when we will be carrying on with modern industrialization, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.